then Naples. It begins. Dun, dun, dun. We've arrived in Naples and we've negotiated our bus. Fair. It didn't take a lot of negotiating. No, and we're on our way to the hotel. Uh, so, um, hey, this is Crew Con Keaton Rachel. This is our vlog on our trip to Naples. Hope you like it. It's quite late, isn't it? Half eight. Half eight. We've been, it's safe to say, we've been drinking all day. We checked into the lounge in Dublin Airport for three hours which is a good thing to do, so we've had a few drinks there and then we've had drinks on the plane and now it's 20 past 8 and now everyone on the bus is listening to us yeah, kind of it's true, true uh, one thing, Naples gets dark very early compared to Dublin at this time of year yeah, okay, bye, see you in a minute I don't know what's going on with the trains. So we were in that kind of metro place and then we were in half an hour there and it didn't work so we came to a proper train station. And even trying to find a ticket machine was hard. It's slow. Yeah, oh, they're so, the ticket machines are so slow. So we eventually got the ticket to where we needed to go and it stopped at one stop and told us to get off. And then we're sitting on this train which is now nearly 10 minutes late. So let's get onto this other on train on platform six and we're sitting on it now and now we're going crazy because you're like, why is the train not moving? What's happening? So I think we're gonna to have to get off this again. We're so just never gonna see Naples. <laughs> we're never gonna see Naples. <laughs> not gonna happen. Hope you're enjoying the, the holiday Naples vlog. The train is moving. The train is moving. I think we're going to get to see Naples. We're not getting our hopes up though. No. Chabupa. Chute tutti frutti. We survived the train. We finally made it and we're here? in <laughs> Naples. This is a mad place, I nearly got knocked down by a, a motorbike, well, a moped, but take a look. Very busy Monday morning, a lot of people going to work and doing work things. And then two pasty Irish people walking around who just put sun cream on. I think you can see it all over my face. Oh no, it's disappeared. I had a big white head for about a minute. Pretty cool cathedral and there's treasure inside. We're wondering why the army were guarding it, so I guess that explains it. Treasure. So our first place we want to see in our little tour of Naples is, what's it Rachel? It's um, the Church of Santa Maria of uh, Purgatory. Or as we call it from the pictures, the Skull Church. 
So let's go see the skull church. What? Can you see the bucket? Fascinating. So we are now inside the Santa Maria del Anime del Purgatorio ad Arco Complex, which is it has become a kind of cult um, thingy where people adopted uh, dead people and prayed for them in purgatory. What was it? They prayed for them so in purgatory. So they adopted, there, there was a mass grave downstairs here in the church, which mm -hmm. we went into, but we can't video in there, they won't let us. We'll show you some and, photos. And uh, so there's lots of human remains there and skulls and stuff. And so people used to come in and like adopt the remains or the skull of a person and pray to them. And it used to like grant them grace and then apparently shorten the time that that soul had to spend in purgatory. So downstairs is really empty with loads of, you can see all the skulls and the little altars that they made for mm. them. And graves, and there's, a, there's an entrance to a big mass grave. I'll um, show you a photo for, of that. But it's really eerie down there. It's cool. It's very cold. And very cold. And we're up in the top part now, so we'll show you some of this. We're allowed to take photo and video up here, so we didn't want to try to take sneaky photos to be respectful. So that was the Santa Maria del Anime del Purgatorio ad Arco Complex. <laughs> it's, it's hard to get a video of the outside of it. So now we're going to see another Catholic place, isn't it? What's it called? It's the uh, Fontanelle Cemetery. Fontanelle Cemetery. Let's go take a look. <laughs> she goes again. <laughs> Don't wear high heels and ankles. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> well, you did sprain your foot yesterday on the cobbles. So we came behind the. I'm not going to name the church. It takes too long. Santa Maria del Purgatorio. Yeah. Uh, this, and like, there's just apartments and people living all around it. It's so strange but cool. Just the history next door to you and all that kind of stuff. Let's go. Cool. Just walk along the street and we found some old rooms, which is awesome. down there is the cemetery del Fontanelle. We are very close. We found the cemetery Fontanelle and that's it behind me. I think that's the church connected to it so we're gonna go in and take a look. This is the entrance. Pretty, pretty big.
Okay, so we made it to the Fontanelle, and uh, you're allowed to take video and photo in here. But it's absolutely it's really sobering, really sobering and terrifying the amount of skulls and full skeletons. And then this offer is made to children, and you can see children's skeletons. Uh, it's definitely worth seeing. It's not something you see every day, but um, it's not for everybody. <laughs> Take a look, here's some more, here's the chapel part. So the whole point of it is uh, on the, the signs that around the place it says the people of Napoli will take care of all these uh, souls that have no burial grounds. So it's really sad, definitely sad. I see people all around taking selfies and what can you do? I mean, it's, it's an interesting thing, but it seems a bit disrespectful to do the whole smile like, hey, selfie. But then again, I'm taking videos so I can't really judge, can I? I don't know why Rachel's whispering. Because it feels like you should whisper. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, and it's like it's free to come here as well. They didn't, there's no choice. Yeah, they seem to welcome you. It's in a very residential area. And you can see in like some, some of the schools they have put coins on their heads. And you can see like people come here and still leave stuff mm. like flowers. Offers and they're praying for them or something. Mask cards and things. We've seen a few altars made out just for children with lots of cuddly toys. They're like, really devastating, like they're so upsetting. Yeah, so we, I didn't take any videos of that, I thought that's just a bit inappropriate. But um, come and see, it's, it's mad. It's and it, it's, it's in such a residential area, there's apartments, old apartments and old kind of garages and, and like... Ceramics workshops. Yeah, nearby. just all around the place, it's, it's weird.
So we're leaving the cemetery now. Just wanted to say the staff are super friendly. Uh, very talkative and want to tell you a lot about the very place. Very curious about us. Very curious about us as well. Uh, so it's a pretty sobering experience. So we're on our way now to get back into Naples. and. I have so many questions about that place, but there's not much information in English. So yeah, I true. Have to go and search the internet. We've got to check it out. Yeah, so we're on our way back into Naples now to get some spritz, I think. Yeah, it's time we, for spritz. We need a spritz after that. <laughs> need a drink after that. And we're aiming for the best pizza in Napoli, Da Michel. It's the number one pizza place in the whole world from the birthplace of the pizza, Naples. No. As you can see, we've decided to kind of walk everywhere in Naples so we get to see what it's like in Naples and all around us you can just hear people getting food ready and getting their children ready to go out and stuff just living their daily lives pretty cool people live really really high up in the apartments here as well I can just hear like a cacophony of, of life now where's this pizza place we found the kind of marketplace. There's lots of um, interesting products. It's like Wish on the street. Yeah, it's like Wish. Street Wish. Oh, what's the other one? Alibaba. Alibaba. It's a bit dirty in this part. saying it's a little bit dirty. There's like bags of rubbish on the ground and stuff. Yuck! Action! Rachel? Yes? What are we doing? This is not going to get pizza. We uh, have stopped for a little rest and to have a beer and a spina. Excuse me. Have, have beer on top. Right. We're doing so much walking that we needed to take a stop for beer. That sounds terrible. Well, no, a refreshment. It's not beer. It's um, refreshing water made from like grains. Like they leave the grains out for ages. This thing called fermentation happens, and then and yeah, it gets yeast put into it. So it's not our fault. We're just trying to drink the water, but um, we have to stop. So here we are in the middle of Napoli. I think we're 10 minutes away from the best pizzas in the world. Here we are outside La Pizzeria da Michelle. Da Michelle. And look at the queue. Michaela. Pizzeria da Michaela. Michaela, that's very Irish. <laughs> Michaela. M Michaela. And the queue is ridiculous and there's no kind of clear organization to it. So hopefully we get in. I'll tell you all about this pizza. Better be. The best pizza ever. Better be. So we're we're number 92, so we should be doing this soon. We went for a drink while we're waiting in a place called In Cafe Duello, the one across the road. Like right behind us there. So he knew we were tourists and like they're charging one euro for Aperol spritz all over Naples. And he charges seven euro, 14 euro for two, two Aperol spritz. 14 euro, that's even more expensive than Dublin. So if you're going for the fancy pizza here, don't go there. See the little black kind of apron you think? Don't go there. We've made it into the pizza place. So I was ready to kind of say, yeah, it's pretty average and be all disappointed, but it's actually really, really nice. The sauce is amazing. It's 
the best marinara pizza I've ever had. I was all ready to say, meh, and make a funny video. But it does look like that. Look, it looks like I'm on the toilet right now, doesn't it? You wouldn't think I'm in the best pizza place in the world. I'm on the toilet. I'm not the fuck pizza. Or else on camera, the spritz. Very famous spritz place. One euro spritz. One euro spritz. Cheers.